So ang tanong ni Cesar John Haliasgo, paano daw kung fix? I presume yung support, yung external support. This is fix. This is fix. How do we handle the problem? Okay? So let us do it. So applying the three moment equation here to execute it, there is a little modification. So we will add an imaginary extended beam here. Let us call this point I1. So with imaginary load, everything here is imaginary. Same thing here, we will add here an imaginary span with imaginary support. Let us call this I2 with imaginary load. So, when we apply our three moment equation, we have here moment at I1, moment at A, then moment at B. Three moments at a time, two spans at a time. So, we put the coefficient for, and then this is equal to what? W negative W L squared over 2, right? Correct. But take note, this is imaginary. We take only the real part. So, we remove this from the real part, from our equation. Now, for this part, MA, this is the middle. A is partly imaginary partly real. So, only one half of this is imaginary. So, divide this by 2. Now, for MB, everything is real. For this part, this is composed of the entire span. Left and right. Right? That is the reason why if W left and right are not the same, we use W average to represent the entire span. As far as this is concerned in our problem, half imaginary, half real. So, we divide this by 2. So, this becomes WL squared over 4. You follow? So, our equation becomes 4 over 2 to MA. So, instead of 1 for 1, it becomes 2 MA plus mb equals minus of w the w is 21.5 l is 6 squared over 2 over 2 over 4 let me call this equation 1 then when we consider span abc we now have a b c before we have i1 a and B. So we will have here the moment A, MA, MB, and MC. None is imaginary. All are real. So you have 1, 4, 1 equals WL squared over 2 negative. Negative W, 21.5, L, 6 squared over 2. This is equation 2. Now, let us consider now this span BCI2. So, considering BCI2, so I have here moment at B plus 4 times moment at C plus moment at I2 is equal to negative WL squared over 2. Your W is 21.5 6 squared over over 2. Right? But the, we remove the imaginary portion so we remove this in the equation. Now, for MC, MC is half real, half imaginary. We just adapt the real so with just take one half of this. Right? 
Now, this portion WL squared over 2 is half real, half imaginary. So, divide this by, by 2. So, this will be R equation 3. 3 equations, 3 unknowns in terms of A, M, B, and M, C. Let me solve it using mode 5, 2. Let me simplify the equation so that it is easy to look at. M, A, M, B, M, C. Equation 1. To M, A plus M, B equals, what is this? Negative 193.5. Five. Equation 2 MA plus 4MB plus MC equals this one Negative 387 Third equation MB plus 2MC equals this one Which is the same as this one So this is negative 193.5 Solving these three equations, three unknowns using mode 5, mode 5, 2. For this one, this is 0. For this one, this is 0. No? Okay? So, writing it in our calculator. So, we will get our MA equals negative 64.5. Our MB is equal to negative 64.5. Point five, and our MC is negative sixty-four point five. Unusual, right? The moment you can remember this, when the spans are equal, these are equal or these are fixed. Moment here, moment here, moment here are equal. You get it? You follow? Now. Once you know the moment, it is easy to solve the reactions, right? Okay? So, if we will apply it, the moment here, this is MA. This is RA. This is RB, right? If we will consider FBD of left, FBD left of B, we take here the moment at B, which is negative 64.5 is equal to what is the moment here? minus MA minus 64.5 plus RA times 6 minus the moment due to this 21.5 so minus 21.5 x squared 6 squared over 2. So, solving this equation, will be able to get RA. Your RA is going to be equal to 64.5 kilonewtons. This is your RA. And therefore, we know that we take summation of forces along Y equals 0 upward positive. You'll have RA, I expect this to be equal to this. So, 2 times 64.5 plus RB minus 21.5 times 21.5 times 12 is equal to 0. So our RB is going to be 129 kilonewtons. So it is equal to twice of this. You get it? exactly tributary area one half of this in rb one half of this here one half of this of the load is on this you get it you follow okay so tandaan nyo no basta fix fix up uh, hindi to sa lahat ha sa situation lang na to basta fix fix roller matutupad yung tributary area para sa RB eksaktong kalahati ng load 6 meters ng load nasa RB so we can conclude that RB is 21.5 times 6 you get it? you follow? okay RC 
is 21.5 times 3. RA is 21.5 times 3. You get it? Once you know the reactions, you can already solve the moments. Clear? Clear? Okay. So, if this is roller roller fix, uh, ibang usapan. Tributary area will not be applicable. Okay? So, inaanyayahan ko kayong humabol pa sa final coaching. Alam nyo ba na almost 50% ng lumabas sa design ng May 2022 ay lumabas galing sa November 2021 and November 2019 board exam sa design, no? So, malaking bagay yung nag-attend ng final coaching ng Padilla Review Center. Pwede ka pang humabol, pwede ka pang kumasa ngayong November 2022. Okay? Kung hindi ka pa naman mag-board exam, magre-review pa lang o nag-aaral pa, meron kaming program para sa'yo. Pwede kang mag-advance review. Okay? Advance review ka lang, tapos... Uh, kung gusto mo 3 years review, pwede kang mag 3 years review. Medyo miscellaneous lang ang babayaran mo the following semesters. Okay? So, sige lang po. Uh, see you and God bless.